Welcome to the Gals Guide Podcast. Join us on an adventure to get to know famous and infamous women from around the world. Each of our presenters has a pick. Is she ancient history? Is she breaking news? Is she safe for work? Well, that's up to each presenter. All we know is that... Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. It's a new month at the Gals Guide Podcast, and we are continuing our Around the World Adventures. This month, we are learning about Irish gals. We picked Ireland to be our destination for March because uh, St. Patrick gets a lot of press, right? So what about the lassies? So I have been loving learning how to say hello in the different regions that we travel through. So let's go for Giaguich. Giaguich uh, is to our travelers this month to say hello in Irish. Uh, so let me introduce our gal pals. So first up, she is head librarian of Gals Guide and the president of Gals Guide. It's Bonnie Just Fillinworth. Yay! Yay! So Bonnie, introduce yourself to the new people who are listening. Uh, my name is Bonnie Fillinworth. I am yeah, the head librarian of Gals Guide, and I do paintings of women throughout history. Woot woot! Yay! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, next up, it's our Fab Book Club director, Katie Young. Yay! <laughs> so, Katie, what would you like to have the new people know about you? Oh, I prefer to be a mystery, truly. <laughs> Drafted an enigma. Exactly. Yes. As you know me. Nothing wrong. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm our book club director, and we have been loving going around the world with book club. We're yeah. doing a fantastic mix of nonfiction and fiction. It's yes. been every other month this year, mm -hmm. um, so that's been super cool. If you'd like to sign up, go to galsguide.org yes. and find book club and join us. Yeah, it's really, really fun. <laughs> it is the best time. And you can wear your PJs because we meet over Zoom because yeah. that's yeah. how we roll. It's very nice. Mm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, next up, it is her first time on the show, and she won our golden ticket to be a podcast guest podcast guest at our history science fair and we are so happy that she did so give a wonderful welcome to Lori hand everybody Yay! welcome <laughs> so Lori, introduce yourself to the good people okay uh, well my name is Lori hand i'm a longtime noblesville resident um library lover and professional book editor yes See, you're all about the books. All about the books. I'm yes. bookish. You fit right in. You're bookish. I like it. <laughs> I thought you said booklicious, and I was like, yeah, you are. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> all of that. Yes, I love it. <laughs> so as for me, I've changed my name. So this is going to be very weird, uh, especially, you know, with drinking today, too. Uh, so it is a Dharma <laughs> name that was given to me by my teacher, and it took me 18 months to actually be ready to embrace it uh, and to see its power to put the goodness into the world. So the cool kid are going to call me Riru, which means mountain, but I'm still going to answer to anything you call me because I'm still also the executive director of Gals Guide and the IRS will still know me <laughs> as Leah. <laughs> <laughs> I also thought it would be a fun way to start uh, the episode because we did this last month where we started with a proverb. And so Ooh. I thought I would evoke the Irish proverb, castles were built one stone at a time. I thought it was kind of fitting. With it being a podcast, one episode at a time, one gal of history at a time. So I thought... A I library would... was built one book at a time. It was! Ooh. See? Yes, exactly. So is it... That means our library is our castle? Heck yeah, yeah it is. I like it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet. Well, then, the next big question is, Bonnie, do you want to go first? Sure. <laughs> now I'm just trying to figure out what month we should build the... Uh, Oh, a book castle? castle? Yeah, a book castle. Oh. Since we've done the tree. Well, first we need space. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm, which month is appropriate to build a I giant know. castle out of box? I mean, I think the answer is every month. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that idea. Book castle. Maybe that no, should be our fairyville entry. Oh, Ooh. look at that. I see what you did there. Dun, dun, dun. All these things to think about. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Bonnie, who do you have for us? I have... The wonderful Lillian Bland, who Ooh. is anything but bland. Oh, nice! And the like puns an just keep name. coming. <laughs> I love an ironic oh, name, so yes. <laughs> so before uh, Bessie Coleman yeah. and before Amelia Earhart, is Lillian Bland. Ooh. She's most known for her uh, contributions to aviation. Nice. She was born September 28th in 1878 in Kent. 
and her father was John Humphrey Bland, uh, and her mother was Emily Charlotte. She was the youngest of three kids. Her father was an artist. Uh, her mother became ill and died when she was young. Aww. And she, I was trying to figure it out, she either like lived with her aunt for a little bit, or her aunt lived with her, or they both met at like a separate location. <laughs> Right. It was something. So it sounded like she was kind of like partially raised by her aunt who was trying to teach her to be a proper lady. Ooh. Which didn't really work because <laughs> she <laughs> she smoked. She wore pants. Oh, no. She oh, hunted. No. She fished. Uh-huh. She was a markswoman. She applied for a jockey's license. Nice. And she didn't ride side saddle. She rode, I forget what it was called. Normal? I don't know. Yeah, a leg on each side. <laughs> instead a stride. Of, oh, yes. Oh, a stride. You have to read a lot of uh, Victorian Regency oh, romances right. to know that terminology. So here I am for you. No, thank uh, you, Katie. Your expertise is ve- very much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah and then the, the town clergy were so upset. That she rode her horse that way. They instructed the townspeople to throw rocks at her when she did it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if anyone actually hit her, but they were like, yeah, you need to to, to try and get her out of doing that. And sure, throw sure. rocks at her. The Bible's sure. all about stoning. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm not surprised by this revelation. <laughs> but she's on a horse. Like, I mean, all she would have to do is like go towards them. And I think that they would move and stop. <laughs> uh, but sure. No, I get it. <laughs> uh, but she ended up becoming a sports journalist. And a photographer. Oh. And um, right now, they think that she may have captured the first color plate image of a live bird. Oh. Not like a mannequin or or like a stuffed stuffed bird. bird. Yeah, Yeah, right. Because it would stay still Uh, and it wouldn't mess up the photo. mm -hmm. So. Oh. Uh, Interesting. In 1909, her uncle sent her a postcard. About uh, com- commemorating a flight over the English Channel, mm-hmm. and that got her started into aviation. Maybe I could fly. <laughs> she is so like, I don't know. Maybe not necessarily daredevil, but she's like, yeah, very adventurous, doing all the things. I like it. This is great. Like we have like all these list of all these things to do, but not really any like details. Like I know she was a sports a journalist. I don't know where. Right. Right. Like. She showed up in some games, wrote some things down, yeah. was published somewhere. She Done. attended like a aviation like convention. I forget they called it like a meeting, okay. but it sounded like it was almost like uh, the World's Fair kind of a thing. Okay. What we would we call like a con? Yeah. Now in 1909, and she ended up making a little monoplane, Aww. a little tester, <laughs> um, before she built her own plane. Because she is the first she woman to a plane? she designed, built, and flew her own plane. Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice. And, and all of this, doing, right? all of this is when Amelia Earhart is twelve. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good point. Good point. <laughs> uh, but she called her plane that she designed the Mayfly because oh. it may fly and it may not. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. Good one. <laughs> Uh, she ended up uh, mimicking the wings of seagulls, yeah. and it was controlled with like a bicycle handle to oh. turn left or right. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it had like foot pedals to go up and down because at first oh. it was a glider; it didn't have an engine yet. Okay, yeah. So, and it weighed two hundred pounds. And she used like several different types of like wood, mm-hmm. and she did a test flight. With five other men, like, got on it to see if it could, like, hold the weight of another engine. Okay. And I'm just, like, I'm just thinking of all these men just shitting their pants. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Be like, May, will it fly? Will it not fly? It may. <laughs> but they handed out, since it was a glider, there was, like, another person on the ground with, like, a rope. So it was, like, a kite in case it, like, gets <laughs> too far. Flight with, with five yeah. men on it? Sweet. <laughs> I can't remember. It sounded like maybe she just kind of drove it off like a cliff. Yeah, mm-hmm. to get it going. <laughs> like not like a gliding. Deep, like a yeah, right? you know yeah, like you a ridge. Get started. Yeah. Um, well. So since it, it it flew for I thought I yeah how many feet? so that worked yeah <laughs> okay yeah there you go um so she went to go buy an engine like she had to travel to go buy an engine and she got like the fancy one. 
and she had to um like ship it back like she had to travel oh. by boat and by like train to get it back and passengers were asking her like what do you have in that box she's like an engine mm-hmm. for an airplane and they're like what the fuck is an airplane <laughs> yeah exactly right because <laughs> <laughs> no one had no one knew what they were. We don't know what this woman is even saying. <laughs> witchcraft. Like, all, yeah, it had to be witchcraft. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but she got, like, so excited. She got her engine before she got her fuel tank. <laughs> <laughs> so she ended up improvising with a whiskey bottle. Yes. And her... <laughs> And her aunt's ear trumpet as a hose. <laughs> oh, One of those old timey funnel, basically. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So just like stick it in there. Sweet. All right, I have a <laughs> it's not a downer question because this is just absurdly innovative. Yeah. But how can she afford to do all this? Is there any detail about that? Like, <laughs> sure. Like she it just didn't come say... from wealthy family, so she had like some kind of funds. She has a sponsor, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like Nike she or something. She goes around like that. and like yeah. people are like, sure, maybe. I mean, she did have I a think job. Red Bull was probably okay. her sponsor. Her yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what I'm guessing. You know, in the 1800s, <laughs> <laughs> her job was being an innovator. Huh. I just, you know, the practical side of me that can't even get new carpeting in my house. Is like, <laughs> no, right. How did she go on trains and boats mm-hmm. sticking an engine? What did her aunt do? Oh, yeah. uh, well, both her parents had died. Did she have any kind well, of Well, I don't like, know when her dad died. Or... Oh, I know okay. her mom died when she was young. Gotcha. Um, I'm trying and to then think she old had time. her aunt. Yeah, he was still alive, so I'm not really oh. sure what is with her. I think they just wanted yeah. her to have a lady figure in her life sure. thing. Right. Exactly. Even though her, it sounded like her dad was just like, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> so I don't know why they were even nice. trying. <laughs> Um, we'll find you those fundings, Katie. We'll figure it out. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not dreaming big enough. <laughs> yep. You got to get a whiskey bottle and an ear funnel mm-hmm. and build a plane. <laughs> I'm not sure I can find those at home. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> uh, her first flight with the engine was in August of 1910, and the engine vibrated so much it like caused issues with like the bolts coming loose. Oh no. Plane's falling apart yeah. because of the engine. Great. Because it's shaking so much. <laughs> Just like it's shaking. There's like not OSHA standards of this no. fuel line. No. Like, I'm very surprised it didn't just explode. <laughs> Um, but it ended up it went thirty feet up and it traveled a distance of a quarter mile. Oh, that's pretty good. So she became the first female aviator in Ireland uh, in Ireland and the first powered biplane in Ireland. Ooh. Mazel tov. <laughs> and then there was something with her I think it was like her aunt or her dad or her uncle had offered her a car but in exchange she had to stop flying. Oh. And she was yeah. like sure. So she <laughs> because became, it's a new adventure right? Yeah. How fast so can cars I drive this were a car? new thing. This mm-hmm. is early 1900s and sure. especially it's in Ireland so it's not in America. It's like mm-hmm. She got, I'm pretty sure it was a Model T car. Right. So she became a car dealer. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> I uh, like the reinvention side of her, too. She's just it's like, yeah, and just re- do all the know. things. Yeah, why not? <laughs> In 1911, she ended up marrying her cousin, who was from Canada, okay. like came over to propose to her, and then they ended up moving back to Vancouver. Oh. And he was literally a lumberjack. (laughs) Sweet. Awesome. But they had a 160-acre farm, so then she was a farmer for a while. Sure. They ended up having one daughter, Patricia, who uh, died of tetanus at the age of 16. And after that, she separated from her husband, and she moved back to the UK to become a gardener and a gambler. (laughs) <laughs> Just, you know, I was gonna say gotta... one of those is your favorite things. Maybe two of them on a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Gardening and gambling. You retire being a gambler. <laughs> I like it. And she died in 1971 at 92 years old. Oh my gosh! She didn't explode in a rickety <laughs> airplane. <laughs> How? <laughs> Maybe like, I'm wrong about this, but when I was looking into Irish gals, I thought I saw that. I saw a little bit about her, and I thought I saw that the person that gave her the car was like, if you quit flying the planes, I'll give you the car, and mm-hmm. she ended up racing the car. <laughs> I didn't come see anything about that? racing, but she okay. was definitely, like, selling them. It Same. wouldn't surprise me if she was racing yeah, them. Yeah. I found that I mean, funny when I read that little blurb. They also only go, like, 
back then they went like 20 miles an hour right. or something. And at least they stayed on the ground. Oh. So it was, <laughs> well, weird. you know, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if she built a rail. <laughs> right. And if it, you know, souped up the engine a little bit and suddenly all the bolts started coming out of it again. <laughs> Got a supercharger. Yeah. She's she an is. interesting life. I Crazy. know. I she, like, like the whole time I'm listening, I'm picturing at like the end of Titanic where they're showing all the little pictures of what she does. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Right. That's what we her <laughs> doing all the things. Living a full life. <laughs> <laughs> that is too cool. Yes, no, I totally, I totally dig her. <laughs> and that's doing a lot in a time when everything is like new and very much mm. adventurous. Like you don't even know what could even happen or if it's even possible on some of the stuff that she was doing. I'm surprised she didn't do any hot air balloon this. <laughs> I'm surprised that she, she ended did, up but yeah. living through two world wars. So I'm I'm kind of surprised she didn't like volunteer to be a pilot. Oh yeah, in a war. True. I mean, yeah, she would have been in Canada at that time, but Maybe she could have gone it. back. Right. I don't know. Yeah. True. But then, at what age was she at that time? Because there was still the age stipulations, mm-hmm. especially with women. Lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very but true. I mean, you know, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth drove the ambulance during mm-hmm. World War. Yep. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Probably? yeah. She was in so, her twenties. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah. this she could have driven a car. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe she was deep in her lumberjack forest. Uh, she was uh, probably a spy, and we just don't know yet. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. Because there's not a now. whole lot is yeah, left. Like, like She ended up giving like the frame of her plane to, it sounded like a gentleman's club yeah, kind right. of a thing. And Maybe like an aviation club. I think or... the place that she built the plane, which I think was like her uncle's house, is no longer standing. Like, we don't have a whole lot left. of her. Like, I don't think we have any letters. Like, I'm not mm-hmm. sure... I think this is all. I haven't found any. There is a park named after her. And some people have been doing like some plays and stuff in (laughs) Ireland, which is great. Cute. (laughs) So she's being kept immortalized in Mm -hmm. a wide variety of ways. But I think most of the stuff that we know about her is like they interviewed like people's parents that knew her back in the days. I think how they've. Gotcha figured out stuff about That's her. probably how you get the really cool stories of her unruliness then. Mm-hmm. Well, she was I used to throw rocks at her. <laughs> <laughs> she nearly threw or crashed into the whole town with her plane. Yeah, something. She knows. sounds like a prime candidate for some uh, Bonnie Jess Fillenworth art. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, exactly. Mm-hmm. The only problem is, do you cover one aspect or all aspects of her adventures? <laughs> In <a> collage? <laughs> Too cute. Any other questions? Thoughts? Ideas? She's fantastic. (laughs) Should I wrap us up for the first episode? Look at that. Well, that wraps it up for us this week. Join us next week as another Irish gal is picked to share as the Gals Guide podcast continues. Thanks for listening. Want to learn about more women of history? Gals Guide opened a unique women's history lending library. Come visit and explore our collection. Learn more at galsguide.org. Thanks for listening.